race morning, 5 o'clock. There's the bomb. All gates swing open. Out of the pre-dawn darkness, in lines 50 blocks long, racing fans pour onto the infield. They start at dawn to put up their own grandstands, and in a couple of hours, they're ready. There's some pretty good mechanics in the crowd, too. But there's still time for breakfast, once over lightly, and a chance to catch up on some sleep in the warm early morning sun. Yes, life, it's wonderful. You can say that again. Everybody is going to the biggest picnic in the world. They weigh fried chicken by the ton at Indianapolis. From the control point high on the pagoda, Speedway officials and state police check traffic in and around the track. More than a ton of lost belongings will turn up here tomorrow, and 60 children will get lost in the crowd. We're looking north from the air. The green patch on the right is a nine-hole golf course right next to the back straightaway. On the left is the main straightaway, the pits, garages, and the starting line. The first turn is in the left-hand corner. Here come the cars, crews, and drivers out of the garages to their pits. The official Dodge moves out on the track. There's Vuki's car. Here's Harry Stevens with the three Bardall entries. All 33 cars line the pit wall from the pagoda down in order of qualifying speed. McGrath number two is the first in line. It's in the pits where the race can be won or lost, and some crews run a last minute practice pit stop. The Purdue University band parades down the straightaway bricks with almost 200,000 race fans looking on. pits to the starting line. But it's more than just a car that these crews are pushing into position. There's months of work and sleepless nights and hopes. There's disappointment and success. Every member of the crew has his hands on the car, and if he could push it to the winner's circle, he would. Five minutes before the start, and Bill Vukovic can smile. Manny Ayulo is ready. Fred Agabation protects himself against the roar of wide-open engines. Art Cross takes in the sun, which Jack McGrath shuts out with his dark goggles. There's Troy Rutman, winner in 1952. And there's Marie Wilson, the girl who will plant a kiss on the winner. There go the balloons, time-honored tradition, preceding starting engines. signal that the car is ready. The Dodge pace car rolls out and the field is away.